Welcome back. Just Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks, and we also talk about other passive income revenue streams, such as dividend stocks and other business ventures. So if you're new, please click the subscribe button to get my frequent updates. And we're going to go into the video today. Basically, the consumer price rose only 8.5% in July. This is basically inflation data. So we saw that uh, inflation only rose 8.5 compared to June, uh, where it rose 9.1. So that got the market in a frenzy. Okay, so the market uh, sparked today. Uh, the portfolio uh, was up 4% on that good news that inflation is coming down in the country. That's gas prices, that's food prices, uh, that's several things that goods and services that cost have gone down over the month of July. So that's good information. And the stock market rallied with that information because that will give the Fed uh, less ammunition to raise interest rates next month, okay? They may raise it only 50.50 basis points or they may raise it 0.75. But either way, the trend is that uh, inflation is going down. So that rallied the market, okay? Uh, the Robinhood portfolio was up 4% strong. I mean, as you can see, the day opened and boom, it continued on. And then it dipped a little bit and boom, it continued on. And so it went into the evening at a high. And that's good news for the stock market. Overall, we can see several stocks went up today. Uh, number one, Amazon. Amazon was up 35 Two percent. Uh, we all saw CrowdStrike, uh, the cybersecurity firm, up seven point five one percent. We also had Upstar Holdings, uh, a fintech, was up. Uh, we also had Ford, Ford Motor Company, was up two point nine nine percent. Also, we had uh, Revolve Group up six point five four, and uh, we also had Tesla. Another EV stock was up three point five three percent. So. Uh, a great day in the market, whether you're in fintech or whether you're in uh, just flat out chips, uh, everything was surging today on the good news that inflation is coming down. Uh, great news. Also, uh, we had Walt Disney Company report after hours today. Walt Disney after hours spiked over 6.80% uh, on great news, uh, good revenue. Also, um, the subscriber growth grew, okay? So if you wanna know more about what happened uh, after Disney just beat out Netflix in number of subscribers, that is the latest news. So all that was in the earnings report. If we go to the uh, waltdisney.com, uh, this is the investor's information. Walt Disney Company reports, third quarter, nine months of the fiscal year 2022. Uh, that was today, August 10th. Uh, they reported uh, with 14.4 million Disney Plus subscribers added in the fiscal year, we now have 221 million total subscribers across all offerings, said by uh, Bob Chapek. Okay, uh, that is great information from the CEO. Uh, you know, their subscriber number is now beating Netflix. So that is all great news. Again, uh, revenues for the quarter over the last nine months have grown uh, 26, 28% respectively. Also uh, diluted earnings per share from continuous operation from last nine months and it increased uh, $1.66 from $1.02 and excluding certain diluted EPS nine months increase from $3.22 from 1.91 cents a year prior. Okay, so that's great news. Walt Disney growing earnings per share and growing revenue, also growing subscri subscriber growth, uh, surpassing Netflix, okay? So this is why we saw the stock uh, today uh, pop after hours after the good news over 6%, okay? Walt Disney was trading at $90 just a month ago. Look at this. Uh, Walt Disney was trading at $92 just a month ago. And boom, 
uh, they spike up to almost $120 per share. Okay, so Disney, uh, before the political issues and before the, um, you know, issues that just came up in the last six months, Disney was trading around $150 per share. And some kind of way they got into some turmoil. Uh, the subscriber numbers wasn't sure. The, the park revenue wasn't sure. And now they it's all reflecting. Uh, but they still gonna have to probably deal with the political issues uh, going on in Atlanta, Florida. But anyway, over the last month, the stock is up over 27%. Now, the good part of Disney, it is a dividend stock. So if you own shares in Disney, you'll still also get paid quarterly a dividend as well. So that's great news. Uh, Disney stock today up 6% after hours. And before that, they were up 4% during the day. Okay, so they got in on the CPI uh, data, the inflation data being lower. And then they also got in after a solid earnings report. Okay, so that's Disney. Uh, that is the news. Uh, stocks rally today. Again, you can see the Robinhood was up 4%. Let's take a quick look at the news really quickly uh, before looking at the other portfolio. Okay. Uh, Apple ramps up in house podcasting efforts with Studio Deal. Okay, we saw Apple shares were up 2.53% today. Okay, how much Tesla stock does Elon Musk own after latest sale? Okay, so it looks like Elon Musk again is selling stock. Now, um, we do know that he is in a fight for his life with Twitter. Okay, the, the odds are is that he may have to buy Twitter. Uh, he said, you know, he would buy the company uh, back in April this year, and then he backed out, and now he may be forced to buy the company, okay? There's some information going out there saying there's too many bots on Twitter. Uh, Elon Musk argued with uh, Twitter that there is more bots on the app than is expected, okay? But either way, Elon Musk may be prompted to buy Twitter, uh, by the Delaware courts, okay? So the, the most corporations are incorporated out of Delaware. And basically if anything ever happens where, you know, some companies trying to buy another company, in this case, Elon was trying to buy Twitter and then at the last minute he backed out, uh, they may compel Elon Musk to buy Twitter, okay? Uh, he's saying the data with Twitter is some of it's false, but there's no here nor there, he may be compelled uh, to buy this stock uh, at a premium at like 50% above its share price of what it really is worth, okay? So Twitter's, before Elon Musk just started talking about buying it, it was $36 per share. Uh, and he actually agreed to buy it at like $54 per share. So not a good deal uh, for Elon Musk if he is forced to buy Twitter. Okay, so that is the news there. Um, what else going? Ford CEO doesn't expect electric vehicle battery to cost to drop anytime soon. Okay, we also see uh, Ford shares today surge almost 3%. Uh, again, Ford is positioning itself for to build a million uh, EV cars over the next 10 years. I think they're on positive track to do that. Releasing several vehicles. They already have the Mach 1, uh, the Mustang vehicle. They already have the Ford uh, F1 Light, F-150 Lightning. So again, a lot of great news coming out of Ford. And I believe Ford is positioning itself for those resources to create uh, electric vehicles with lithium and all the other resources to create uh, batteries, okay? So that is the news in this portfolio. Again, uh, news about Elon Musk and also Ford uh, and several stocks popping on the good news of the CPI data or inflation data. Okay, so let's take a look at the other portfolio. The other portfolio, as I stated, um, all stocks rally. Again, uh, Tesla was a top stock today, rallied 3.53% for a little $400. Uh, second place was SoFi Technologies, uh, jumped over 5.41%. Now, again, people were negative on SoFi yesterday, SoftBank. Uh, one of the largest shareholders, they sold out their position out of SoFi, okay? But that tends to happen, okay? So some people are not going to be invested in your company long-term. You can't help when certain companies pull out. But again, 
uh, SoFi's position to be the number one fintech. They just became a bank back in uh, May, June timeframe, and they are also looking to be the Amazon of banking fintech, okay? Because they have patented technology. Also, they provide all services for student loans to car loans to home loans to stock portfolio management. So you can buy stocks on the platform and also buy crypto with SoFi. And this past week, they just also introduced some new ETFs, uh, some ETFs uh, related to Web 3.0. So again, SoFi is trying to help uh, young people establish their financial health with an all-in-one service platform, okay? Uh, SoFi is also offering um, personal loans as well. I took advantage of that at a 6.5% interest rate. So SoFi, SoFi Technologies, one of the best fintechs. Again, they are a bank now. And the shares were up 5.41% on the day. And in third place, we have AMD Advanced Micro Devices uh, surged today 3.68%. Um, again, advanced micro devices, some of the chip stocks are falling out of favor, but some are okay, okay? And we're not seeing the $150 per share, but again, advanced micro devices uh, will be uh, doing a lot of deals for data service and continuing on for the unseeable future as many companies shift to the cloud, okay? Uh, so yeah, we had plenty of other stocks pop today, Okta. Uh, classic Microsoft. Again, I was telling you guys about Microsoft. It was such a bargain under $300. And if this CPI data holds up, then the market may uh, be going higher. Okay. This, this may be the bottom of the market. Nobody knows. But again, Microsoft stock under $300 per share is a value. Okay. Also, we had Ford, Ford Motor Company, we talked about was up 2% today. Again, I hold a little over 160 shares of Ford. Uh, not a bad value. Again, Ford is leading the way in EV. They are not the number one, but they are close behind Tesla, okay? So they're just releasing the electric F-150 truck, and we'll see how that do in the coming weeks, okay? So again, uh, some of the top stocks today, Tesla, SoFi, uh, Upstar Holdings, Microsoft, and Ford, Ford Motor Company, doing a great job. Over the last uh, three months, they have surged. They have surged from a low back in July at around $11 per share up to $16 per share. So great job to Ford and the CEO of Ford and the executive team doing a great job managing expectation and signing long-term contracts for minerals and resources like lithium. So again, this was a great day in the stock market as CPI data was reported and it's going in the right direction. And also we had Disney, Disney stock report as well, good after hours on due revenue for the quarter and subscriber growth for Disney Plus. So I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you'd like to get some free stock, please use my Robinhood link below and everybody have a good evening.